dapper back once again. You're moving on into the finals here. Valorant action is happening all this weekend to be able to send a team out to Iceland. The first thing I want to talk to you about, man, is you played three different agents across this entire series. Um, are you just trying to show up sick at this point? Because <laughs> it seems like you guys are doing nothing but, you know, changing all of these different agents. And it's just got to be crazy to play against. Yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, my, I think, like, we... We all have like a, a very similar philosophy where it's like the meta is shifting a mm -hmm. decent amount and you have to play like we figure out like what we think is meta. Obviously, people disagree. Europe, regional, regional differences like we all like have different point of views. Yeah. But like for us, we, we figure out what we think is meta and against like certain teams or just like in general and we try to adjust to it. And then after we like, OK, these five agents are good. Who's gonna play what? And usually, like, if obviously the agents are the same, we're gonna try to keep the same people on mm -hmm. certain agents just for like comfortability. But when no Sentinel other than Sage, but I don't really like play Sage, mm -hmm. uh, is meta. I have to like pick up Soba. Like usually I played Sage, and then I, I didn't really like her. And then Hunter always played Sage. Like Sick always played Sage, so he's like, oh, okay, I can play Sage. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll learn Soba. But like for me. I'm not that good of a Soba, and it's kind of hard for me to admit because I actually really like the character and I learned a lot. Like, literally before all these, the two games where I knew we were going to play Icebox, I was like practicing darts and all these things, mm -hmm. like trying to, you know, just be be helpful. But uh, at the end of the day, I didn't really have that, as much impact as I wanted. So it hurts me a little bit. Like, if I always made Soba and I, I always played Soba, I'd probably be different. But mm -hmm. for right now, I just have to find my groove on it. Now, but like Viper, for instance, is like way easier for me to play because kind of like I kind of still anchor. It's yeah. like kind of similar. I mean, and especially with like dropping, you know, the, the pit down and everything like that. Like it's essentially like holding it with a bunch of, uh, you know, cypher traps uh, yeah. and looking at the lineup of what 100 Thieves was running. Do you think that it's hurting them? It looks like they just refuse to run an Astra in this meta. You know, like it, it the I don't want to say the comp felt stale, but it definitely didn't feel like adjusted to current meta. Did it feel like that while you were playing against them? Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, we even said in agent phase, like, oh, they're just like old meta and i feel like the problem with old meta it's not that it's necessarily bad it's just there's better options mm -hmm. on top like there's better options and then on top of it, everybody knows like how you're gonna play with this comp you know but the thing with like viper and astra i'm sure they haven't played against viper and astra all that much mm -hmm. so it's like they probably didn't really know how to react to like when i'm throwing down a wall they didn't have info on t side and then when ct side they probably didn't know how to take shower that well so it's like all these things kind of like hurt them for not adapting because like one of the best ways to learn in my opinion is to play it like mm -hmm. okay this is good this is bad if they do this this is how like you would kill me that's how i think about it like if, if i'm playing cypher i know what's really good against a cypher because i play him so i'm just like when teams do this it's really hard for me and we kind of like make strats around that like let let's let's break the cypher traps and relocate because they're going to think it's c because we just pressured him and he has no info and it's like all these things but i feel like they're they're kind of they didn't really adjust and i feel like it kind of bit them well, especially because it's like th you guys haven't lost to them since first strike. You know what I mean? Like how many times are they going to run the same comp almost and expect different results? Because it's, you know, they seem to to be in it with you guys. And then just like you saw on that last map, they just couldn't get anything started. Um, you know, like at this point, do you consider them rivals? Like, do you do they have to win games against you to be considered a rival? I guess I would say. Um, I mean, I feel like the rivalry kind of mm -hmm. like they are competitive. So it's like whoever's competitive at the time is going to be like our quote unquote rival just because like we have to beat each other probably for like the higher the higher spot. Like right now we just play for semifinals. It's really big. So like mm -hmm. they're kind of our rivals in that aspect. But like say we went against like an Envy or a C9, I would say they're our rival too because we have to beat them like C9 are rivals tomorrow. So like at the end of the day, I don't really worry about them too much just because we are confident that we have beat them like right now. One of my biggest worries is them losing to Envy and then we have to play Envy if we lose to C9. Like, that might be tough. But at the end of the day, uh, I try not to worry. I try not to think about that much. Like, I'm confident in my team, confident in how we play. Mm -hmm. That anybody we play is just kind of like, okay, well, they do this. And, oh, yeah, I've seen this before. And they they kind of play like this. They, they like to throw fakes. They like to walk up. They like to pop. So I kind of view people like how they play more than, like, anything else. Like, oh, I kind of like playing against FaZe because they just, like, run at us. Yeah, like, you can plan for you know? that. Yeah, and I kind of like playing against 100 Thieves because, like, they don't really do puggy stuff. So it's mm -hmm. like, oh, if they're here, they might have a lurk, but, like, the lurk is only going to be in, like, two spots. They're not just going to be like, 
okay, there's three here and then two running out shower smoke. And it's like, you can never plan for it. Like those teams, I feel like we struggle against. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, and, you know, like one of the other things that I think really showed off, uh, you know, you guys haven't had to play a ton of matches yet. Uh, the fact that you've been able to respond, you know, Icebox seem to be real tough. Uh, you know, 100 Thieves, they do excel on Icebox, uh, and it was rough for you guys, but you, then you came right back and traded back for another, like, outrageous scoreline there. Um, you know, like, moving forward, do you think that you guys are going to really be able to k keep up that momentum? You know what I mean? Like, you've been doing so well for so long. Uh, are you? Is it starting to wear on you guys, or are you still feeling pretty fresh in these games? No, I don't think it's wearing on any of us. Uh, I mean, everybody loves competing. This is like, I feel like this is like the apex. This is like what I always wanted to be. It's like on top and then other people like climbing up to us. Mm -hmm. So like in my head, this is like, what's the point of getting here where yeah. I always want to be? And then fucking being like, okay, let's put a foot off the gas. Like yeah. we got here. Like, <laughs> exactly. That's really like how I view it. Uh, and I think it's, it's like, it's weird too, because there, you see an an inability to change their comp lineup just to me makes it seem so like frustrating because you look at a team like you guys that have been successful that have literally embraced doing nothing but change you know what i mean like you even see it in the fact that like you're not just running omen every single time last the last game there you ran two controllers on the map which is you know crazy to think of uh i just I, you know i really like you guys as a team for the fact that you can change and not just sit in the same you know like I talk about this every time. The CSGO meta of just like Dust 2 has been Dust 2 for 100,000 years at this point. The fact yeah. that this game, you know, like rewards teams that are able to adjust, uh, I think is interesting. And, and looking forward, you know, before you have to get out of here and, and get ready for tomorrow, uh, Cloud9 Blue, it's a team that you haven't had a, a ton of matches against. You know what I mean? Like you haven't gone against them a million times. Um, how comfortable are you feeling heading in, you know, seeing some of the stuff that they've been doing? Or are you feeling excited about your guys' chances here? Uh, I mean, it's going to be a tough match. Uh, anybody who made it this far and beat all these teams, like, they're going to be good. Mm -hmm. uh, it really depends how we feel on the day and how we adjust on the day. Like, usually, like, today we came out with really high energy and we started really fast. And I feel like if we do that against C9, our chances are, like, way better. But yeah, these teams are gonna be tough. I'm not expecting any easy matches. I usually go into the games like we're just gonna sweat for these. These games are never gonna be easy on us. Yeah. Like even these score lines that like look really one-sided, like they still are hard. Like they almost came back on Haven. Like the game gets hard at a certain point when they get momentum or they have a read on you and you can't really figure out what their read is and you keep changing stuff up and you try not to be like, it's not like, oh, there's doing, there's going A, so we have to stack A. Cause like, they're good enough or they'll get the info early enough and they'll run around. I feel like C9 is going to be like one of those teams that they'll play the info game really well and you have to stay ahead of it and not let them get that kind of momentum and kind of disrupt them a lot. So hopefully uh, we, we're, we're energetic and we keep making those good adjustments. Hey, well, you know, it's gotten you this far. I'm excited to see, you know, how it goes down with Cloud9 Blue tomorrow. Dapper, thanks so much for taking the time to hang out with us again. Uh, you know, you're my favorite person to interview whenever we do this because, uh, you know, you're my guy. You guys are going to do well tomorrow, I'm sure. Thank you, man. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. I'll catch you, dude.